Hello, everyone, and welcome to this Victory Special presentation, the launch of the SpaceX Crew Dragon aboard the Falcon 9 rocket. This is a historic day. It's a big day for the NASA community uh, here in the United States. Uh, you know, we've been monitoring the weather. They've been monitoring the weather, hoping the launch won't be scrubbed once again as it was this last Wednesday. Uh, but all systems are go. This is the first launch from, a US, from U.S. soil with humans aboard a U.S. spacecraft in about a decade. And it's the first ever government-private enterprise uh, launch. And it's a big day for all of us here in America. The astronauts, Doug Hurley is the Dragon Commander. He's a retired U.S. Marine Corps Colonel. He's Demo-2 Spacecraft Commander. Uh, his past missions include STS-127 and STS-135. Hometown? Is Appalachian, New York. He is joined by Bob Bankin, the Dragon pilot. He is a U.S. Air Force Colonel, Demo-2 Joint Operations Commander. His past missions include the STS-123 and the STS-130. His hometown is St. Paul, Missouri. Now, both of these gentlemen have been in the NASA program since the year 2000, and they've been good friends, best friends since then. In fact, they both married astronauts. They both have young children. They've been together uh, in this program for almost 20 years now, but have never, never been on a mission together until today. They today will make history as they are launched into space. So let's go now to NASA Control in Cape Canaveral to watch this historic event. We'll move back about two degrees. That'll get us to the liftoff position. At liftoff, the strong back will then recline about 45 strong degrees away. Started. Stage two, RP-1 bleed. Launch director called out the strong back retract has started on the left. You'll see it go back just a couple of degrees. Stage one, RPM lead. We are just four minutes away from liftoff. Again, at this moment, Bob and Doug are really just laser focused on those displays. They have insight directly into Dragon and the Falcon 9. They're able to see where their fuel loading is at, how everything's progressing down with the count. AFTS final setup started. Three and a half minutes from launch. And the strong back is now reclining away from the Falcon 9. And back igniter purges. I'll go bleed. Dragon has transitioned to terminal count and is on internal power. Stage one, locks load, close out. Okay, we're at T minus two minutes, 42 seconds. Stage one, locks load is closed out. Stage two will continue to load for about another half a minute or so. Once we get the completion of stage two locks loading, we have to vent down the line so you'll see another large white cloud coming off of the strong back. That'll be normal. That'll happen Vehicle around transitioning to T minus power. one minute and 40 seconds. We're going on internal power now. Just a few seconds away from the stage two locks load being complete. It's been almost nine years since we've been in this position. A lot of work done by thousands of people to get to this point. All our eyes focused on two now. Stage two, locks load is closed out. Propound fills are complete. Dragon is in auto idle. Stage two, locks load complete. All fuel, all oxidizer on Falcon 9. One minute, 34 seconds to go till launch. 
Prime gas closeouts is starting. Falcon 9 is in startup. Dragon is in countdown. FTS is armed for launch. Under a minute now, the FTS, the flight termination system, has been armed. Dragon, SpaceX, go for launch. SpaceX, Dragon, we're go for launch. Let's light this candle. T minus 30 seconds. Stage one tanks pressing for flight. T minus 15 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Zero. Ignition. Lift off of the Falcon 9 and Crew Dragon. Go NASA. Go SpaceX. Godspeed. Bob and Doug. America has launched. One alpha. And so rises Copy. the new one era alpha. of American space flight. Stage one and with Boston it, the nominal. ambitions of a new generation continuing the dream. 20 seconds into flight, stage one propulsion is nominal. plus 30 seconds into this historic mission. Flying crew on board Dragon and Falcon 9 and look at them go. Falcon power telemetry nominal. M1D throttle down. We're throttling down to get ready for the period of maximum dynamic pressure. We're in the throttle bucket. Reports say all systems are go. Vehicle is supersonic. We've exceeded Mach 1 on the Falcon 9. M1D throttle up. We're throttling back up to full power as we're through one Max Q. Copy, one Bravo. And we heard that one Bravo call out. That's just the second aboard zone that they're in. They'll continue to be on this until the first stage has done its job and they switch over to the second. At this point, Bob and Doug pulling about 2.3 Gs, 2.3 times the Earth's gravity, already moving at over 1,500 miles per hour. We've heard the call out for MVAC engine chill. That's getting the MVAC engine ready to light. That'll come at about 2.44 into flight. Right now, everything continuing to look good. Next major event coming up is gonna be the triple We'll have main engine cutoff of the nine first stage engines, stage separation, and then ignition of the second stage engine to continue to carry astronauts into orbit. Coming up in about 20 seconds. M M1D throttle down. We heard we're throttling down the Merlin engines on the first stage. And we have Miko. Miko. Two Alpha. Falcon stage separation confirmed. Copy, two Alpha. <laughs> MVAC ignition. All right, we have stage separation confirmed. The first stage beginning its flight back. The second stage being powered by that single Merlin 1D vacuum engine has ignited and is now carrying walks. Bob and Doug into orbit. So they're gonna continue under the power of this second stage. Stage two propulsion is nominal. Which will cut off at Seco or second engine cut off at about eight minutes and 44 seconds into today's flight. So a little over five minutes to go still 
on this second stage. You heard the call out to Alpha, so they're now in the longest abort zone that carries them all the way from about North Carolina up the eastern seaboard almost to Canada. Things looking good, though, getting good call outs, nominal propul pul propulsion on that second stage. Bob and Doug continuing to make their way into orbit. Dragon SpaceX nominal trajectory. Acquisition of signal in Bermuda. SpaceX Dragon nominal trajectory. All right, here in nominal trajectory, so Dragon pointed in the right direction, continuing to make their flight uphill. Heard acquisition of signal Bermuda. That's one of the other ground stations that they're using to get telemetry and data back from this spacecraft. Stage two propulsion is still nominal. little over four minutes, 40 seconds into the flight. Bob and Doug flying at more than 5,600 miles Dragon per SpaceX hour. SpaceX nominal trajectory. Already almost 200 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center. Nominal trajectory continuing. And while they continue uphill, it looks like we are getting a view of the first stage as well. Yep, on your right screen, you can see that first stage with the grid fins deployed. It's making its way back to attempt to land on our drone ship. Of course, I still love you today. And we're just about a minute, uh, a couple minutes away from the entry burn, and that's where three of the nine Merlin engines do ignite to help slow the vehicle down as it re-enters back into the Earth's atmosphere. And then after the entry burn will be the landing burn, which is just a single engine Dragon burn. SpaceX nominal trajectory. And you heard nominal starting chill for entry burn. There's that call out. They are still on a nominal trajectory on Dragon, still on second stage. And that's that MVAC engine on second stage on your left screen. Again, on your right screen is that first stage booster coming back towards our drone ship. Of course, I still love you. We're about a minute away from entry burn. Meanwhile, that second stage continuing to power Dragon into orbit. Again, if you're keeping an eye on that timer, that's going to continue to burn until 8 minutes and 44 seconds into flight. So a little over two minutes from now, we'll hear the call out Seco. It'll then be a little Stage under, two propulsion a little is still over. good. A little over three minutes until Dragon physically separates from the second stage of the Falcon 9 after the upper Dragon stage SpaceX gets a chance. Dragon SpaceX nominal trajectory. Dragon copies nominal trajectory. Continuing to check in with Bob and Doug as they are on a nominal trajectory. Just about 10 seconds away from that first stage, starting that entry burn on your right screen. We should be able to see that view live. Stage one entry burn startup. And there is that entry burn Equation beginning. This burn lasts about 36 seconds long. Stage two FTS is saved. that entry burn continues. We're just about a minute away from SECO. We'll have a number of events all happen in rapid succession. Uh, it'll Talking be the second down. engine cutoff. Stage one we'll be looking for down. that uh, stage one landing burn shortly after. Yeah, actually, just within a few seconds of each other. It's such a cool view on your left screen, seeing Bob and Doug on Dragon. Right now you can see the displays that they are seeing right now themselves. Terminal guidance. And back throttle step. 
We are coming up 25 seconds or so away from SECO, or second engine cutoff. This is also the point where Bob and Doug are experiencing their highest G-force. We're seeing the counter tick up to right about 1.8. Copy, Shannon. You heard Shannon, so that just means they're in their final abort zones. If they were to abort at this point, would either be an abort to orbit or to land off the coast of Ireland. Standing by for second one line cutoff startup. confirmation. And back throttle step. And back shut down. Did you landing there? Confirmation of Seco's second engine cutoff. Now we are waiting for our first stage to make its way to our drone ship. Of course, I still love Dragon, you. Dragon, SpaceX, nominal orbital insertion. Launch confirmation, system is nominal Dragon orbital copy. insertion. Nominal Stage orbital one, insertion. Deploy. And what you're seeing on your screen is a live view of our drone ship, where our first stage will be coming down. Looks like we lost that live view, but we'll wait for confirmation of that landing shortly here. Falcon 9 first stage is successfully landed. And the there you can see on your screen, Falcon 9 has landed. This is the first Falcon 9 to carry humans to orbit, so very exciting for us. And as you can see on your right screen, Bob and Doug are still making their way to their targeted orbit. M1D to recovery one. So exciting today. M1D. <laughs> it doesn't stop. It does not stop. All right, we did, we did hear again that call out, good orbital insertion, so that means Falcon 9 and Dragon right now exactly where they're supposed to be. And we need to FRC on recovery one. And it's right at about 12 minutes when Can Dragon will separate. Looks like we saw a zero G indicator floating around there. I know Bob and Doug owe us a little bit about what exactly that is that they brought up with them. <laughs> And before separation, before Dragon initiates separation from the second stage, they do make sure to make, they, they do ensure that the vehicle is not spinning and it is in good condition before we separate. That's right, the upper stage does small attitude maneuver using some cold gas thrusters built into the rocket body itself. Exactly, so we do expect that separation to occur in about a minute from now, but they do wait until they have full confirmation that it is ready to separate. So for the first time since 2011, the United States has launched astronauts from U.S. soil. And what a great day. You can hear the excitement for all those people there at NASA. Uh, interesting point, Bob and Doug both have small children. Uh, Bob's son is six, Doug's son is 10, who've never seen them, so this has to be exciting for them as well. Make sure you join us tonight for our virtual victory campaign, 6.30 Central for our countdown program, and then seven o'clock for the service. God bless you, everybody. Thanks for joining us.